So there was a lot of excitement and a lot of um, adventure that I wanted out of going to war. Um, let's just say the realities of war on the individual is very different. Um, that for many soldiers, it's, you find yourself in situations that shatter the very foundations of who you are. Um, I know a lot of guys have, are no longer the men that left. Other people would look on and go, oh, what are you, like, oh, he must just be weak. I'm like, nah, these dudes were the toughest of the toughest. And what they went through just destroyed very, their very existence and they're just a shell. You, your body and your mind run on hyperdrive to try to not only deal with the shooting threat, but to look for things that you can't see, you never switch off. And for months at a time, mission after mission after mission, you're just constantly in this hyper state of arousal. Um, and it's, um, yeah, it takes its toll. It's, uh, it's um, fatiguing, it's exhausting, and it doesn't, it doesn't really hit you until you come home, and you like, just completely crash. Personally, I found myself involved in numerous Situations like I was blown up twice. Uh, my vehicle hit an IED um, and exploded. Everything just goes black, like the dust, and then some, you, you can't see. You're disorientated, a bit chaotic, and you you don't know if you're alive. You don't know if you're dead. You don't know if you're injured. You can't. I couldn't see my mates. I didn't know what, what condition they were in. I was covered in coke. All our cans of soft drink had exploded. It was like 20 kilos of um, ammonium nitrate had exploded underneath our back left tire of our vehicle. I was discharged from the army in 2014 for physical injuries. So tore, tore multiple ligaments in my hips during a gunfight in Afghan on my second tour. It wasn't until mid late 2014 when I knew something was wrong. <laughs> it was wrong when I was still back in the army after my second tour for this year and a half. And I'd be like driving home and I'd be like screaming in my car. Like just as this beast inside me. I was like, and it was so overwhelming. <laughs> it was like ripping me apart from inside and I didn't know what it was. I didn't understand what was happening. And I'd be like screaming just to try to get it out. I was like this monster. And in 20, late 2014, I was diagnosed with PTSD and major depression. I still say to this day, it took more courage to stand up and face my demons than it ever did to stand firm on the battlefield.